During Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky's visit to Berlin in May, he formally requested Germany to supply Ukraine with the long-range Taurus cruise missile as a means to counter the Russian offensive. This request was raised with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. If Germany decides to provide the missiles, it would follow the example set by Britain, which became the first country to publicly offer long-range cruise missiles to Ukraine earlier in May. Viewers may note that Britain has approved the transfer of Storm Shadow and France has made the commitment for Scalp EG. The Taurus KEPD-350 is an air-launched cruise missile jointly developed by Sweden and Germany. It is manufactured by Taurus Systems, a partnership between MBDA Deutschland GmbH, formerly LFK, and Saab Bofors Dynamics. Currently, Germany, Spain, and South Korea are among the users of the Taurus missile system. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Ukraine wants Taurus KEPD-350 from Germany. Let's get started. In a recent interview with German news outlet RND on May 23rd, a retired colonel and Christian Democratic Union MP Roderick Kaiswetter, who is part of the opposition in Germany, called for the Bundeswehr German armed forces to transfer the long-range Taurus cruise missiles to Ukraine. He told RND, Ukraine's partners should now take a gamble and provide the country with everything it can utilize for a multi-domain, interrelated use of various types of weaponry within the bounds of international law. He said Taurus would be a very helpful contribution from Germany, adding that Kyiv's allies must supply everything that Ukraine can use in the combined arms battle and which is permissible under international law. Kaiswetter, who is the CDU chairman of Germany's Foreign Affairs Committee, said that Taurus would give Ukraine considerable added qualitative value and enable strikes against the Russians' military infrastructure far behind the front line. He told that it increases Ukraine's combat power. Taurus weighs about 1,400 kilograms, that's 3,100 pounds, and has a maximum body diameter of 1 meter or 3.3 feet. The missile incorporates stealth technology and has an official range in excess of 500 kilometers or about 300 miles. Taurus is powered by a turbofan engine that enabled max speed of Mach 0.95 and can be carried by Tornado, Eurofighter Typhoon, Gripen, FA-18 and F-15K jets. The double 500 kilogram 1,100 pound warhead called Mephisto, multiple effect penetrator, highly sophisticated and target optimized, features a pre charge to clear soil or concrete, and then a variable delay fuse detonates the main warhead. Because of this, it can be used against even hardened bunkers and airfields, apart from command, control, and communications facilities and ammunition storage facilities. The missile also includes a self-defense mechanism to counter electronic jamming. Mission planners program the missile with the target, air defense locations, and planned ground path. Then the missile uses a low-terrain hugging flight path guided by INS, IBN, TRN, and GPS to the proximity of the target. Although it is capable of navigating over very long distances without GPS support. During this cruise phase, a high resolution thermographic camera, infrared homing, can support navigation by using IBN and is also used for GPS free target attacks. Once there, the missile commences a climb to an altitude intended to achieve the best probability of target acquisition and penetration. The missile employs a camera image matching technique to align with the intended 3D target model DSAMC. In cases where a match cannot be established, the missile switches to alternative navigation systems. 
In situations where there is a significant risk of collateral damage, the missile is programmed to redirect toward a predetermined crash point rather than risking an imprecise attack that may lead to unintended consequences. Kai Sweater told the media, Ten years ago, around 600 of these cruise missiles were procured by the Bunswear, but only around 150 of them are still operational. As per reports, these missiles were purchased for approximately a million dollars each. However, there have been minimal developments in effectively incorporating the Taurus missile into Germany's Eurofighter fighter jets. At present, the missile is exclusively used by Germany's fleet of Tornado IDS strike aircraft, which are slated to be gradually decommissioned by 2030 and substituted with F-35A stealth jets. Consequently, the future prospects for the Taurus missile system remain uncertain. So, a significant quantity of these could be transferred. Kyiv is using Swing Wing Su-24 Fencer combat jets to launch UK-supplied Storm Shadow conventionally armed cruise missiles. A similar approach would be taken when France donates Scalp EG cruise missiles. It's not hard to see that Taurus could be deployed from the same aircraft after some modifications are carried out. So far, the United States and its NATO allies have shown a general reluctance to supply Kyiv with long-range missiles and munitions. Taurus would give Ukrainian military planners the ability to target Russian positions far behind the front lines. This would be especially important as the planned counteroffensive takes shape. While Taurus, like Storm Shadow, could be intercepted, this wouldn't be easy. According to warfare experts, the deployment of long-range missiles poses significant logistical challenges for Russian troops. George Barros, a Russian analyst at the Institute for the Study of War (ISW), a Washington-based think tank, told Insider, "...it's going to have a terrible effect on morale for Russian forces and officers and commanders who are going to be operating within Ukraine. Russians will have to change its operational planning if a decent number of Taurus reaches Ukrainian hands. It's to be noted that the introduction of HIMARS led to a massive loss of Russian ammunition since Ukrainians were able to hit storage facilities that were earlier not within the strike envelope. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.